store. We had a huge party announcing the launch of Fairy. I'm still coming off the high of talking to so many amazing women, getting to showcase the brand that we just love that is in all of our stores. And now I'm back at it this morning and we are here to talk about what you need for fall. Now, this is a little bit different, right? Because I always think what the number one question that I get at the start of every season is, what do I need this season? What are those few things that I've got to have that absolutely are going to make my wardrobe feel fresh, feel relevant, on trend, and updated? And so I've got our hit list here. Five items that everybody needs to get their closet up to speed. So we're going to start with what I'm wearing. So the first one is actually one of my favorites because of its incredible versatility and all the ways you can wear it and how chic it looks and put together. The button down. Now, there are some button down lovers out there and there are some button down haters out there and I'm here to eradicate the haters because we're going to get you to love it and here's why. The biggest change with button downs now compared to where they used to be is that they are so much more relaxed. Example A, this Pistola button down. It's got a little bit of attitude to it with this mixed stripe, which I love. It is a more relaxed silhouette. You can see that in the shoulder and in the body, so it is not tight. So that pulling that sometimes we get when things are a little bit too curvy up on top, gone. You don't have to worry about it. I actually size down in this top which makes it a perfect fit. Now, the reason I love this is because it looks cool with the jean, looks kind of edgy with a pair of vegan bottoms, looks elevated with a trouser, and can be super uber casual, even back to like a little jogger. So lots and lots of ways to wear it. Couple options here, and the reason why I love this is because of the the way you want to play. Now, we're going to go with the fun first, right? So I've got this great mixed stripe from Pistola. Again, runs generous. Sanctuary, another fabulous button down. They actually call this the tunic. And here's why I love it. A little bit longer on this one. Still tuck itable. Does run generous on this one, but you can also leave it out. So if you are a lover of leggings, you're not ready to let those go yet, or maybe you're embracing that new boot cut trend in some of your like more casual bottoms, this is an easy one just to let out, or you can even do a little half tuck like I'm doing here. Couple styling tips that make it feel a little bit more relaxed and not stuffy. Pop that collar a little bit, roll that sleeve, makes it easy, unbutton it, layer up your necklaces, half tuck, full tuck, or out, lots of options there. Now, if you haven't gone and embraced the white button down, this is the first one that you should get. So fun, novelty right going in here, but that sanctuary tunic also comes in a solid white. It is absolutely fabulous. I love the cotton pop one on this. Really, really easy to take care of. Wash it, let it drip dry, give it a good shake, touch it up with a steamer, and you are good to go. It holds its shape. That's always my test with button downs is do they hold their collar shape? Do they hold their sleeve shape? Absolutely passes the test, this Pistola and the Sanctuary, so one of my favorites. Also love this layered underneath the blazer, can look really put together. For those of you that are venturing back into the office every once in a while, this is a great piece to have kind of at hand when you just want to get it all done. And one of the best parts about this trend is you can also make it perfect for date night. Now, the way to do it right is keeping it really relaxed and open now i've got mine kind of buttoned to here if you were going to go a little bit more daring for date night open it up a little bit more a couple ways to do it you can just go for it maybe pop on your favorite bra a little bit of lace detail or pair of cami underneath but i love the idea of really layering up those necklaces so pick a statement gold chain or a fun pendant or layer both really easy cool way to do it adds attention and draws attention to that neckline and that great little openness, really fun. You can do the same thing with a denim shirt. So this falls in the same category as that button down, but this is a maybe more casual way to do it. Two options here, one from Cloth and Stone, one from Rails, kind of different, right? The Rails version, a little bit more feminine, the Cloth and Stone, I'd say is your more classic. This guy has a little bit more shape to it with the seaming down the front as well as in the back, so really flattering. 
This is that incredibly drapey tensile fabrication that we know Clap and Stone does so beautifully. I like this to be a little bit more relaxed, so I actually size up. Same thing with the rails. I find their button downs run a little bit small, so I like to have a little bit more relaxed body. This one has a really beautiful, kind of more voluminous sleeve. You might remember this. It also comes in a great poplin, in a blue, and in a green. Similar, but now in a denim. Can you wear denim and denim? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But if it's not your favorite, pair this back to a vegan bottom, and you're good to go. Okay, so we talked about the button down, what you need. Absolutely, everybody's gotta get one in their closet. Try a variety, they're relaxed, so they're much easier to wear than they used to be. You're not gonna get that pulling. Question next, what do you pair it with? Well, you need something in denim that has a 70s inspiration. What does that mean? It means a flare, it means a boot cut, it means a wide leg. Really anything with more movement and definition in that leg, something that's taken away from the straight, or the skinny. And there's lots and lots of ways to do it. You can go crop, you can go ankle, you can go full length. So the pair that I have on today, and I wanted to grab this because I want you to see, this is a really easy way to embrace this trend. This is from Citizens of Humanity, brand new jean for us, more of a cropped and a wide leg. Now this is similar to the gaucho style that I had on a couple weeks ago in stories. The difference here is it is a straighter cut all the way down, and you can see that kick flare on me. Short legs, not quite 5'4", even shorter legs. It's gonna hit me right at the ankle. For those of you that are a little bit taller than me, and there's a whole lot of you out there, it's gonna hit a little bit higher. It works great with an ankle boot. Also love this with a sneaker. This would also be really chic with like a little flat or a loafer. The big just difference here in general is you're getting that volume on the bottom and then you're balancing it out with something more slim on top. A couple other options, and this is when we kind of start to the gradiate on that 70 scale. This is from Paige. This is the Lena ankle, similar style to the Citizens that I'm wearing. A little bit darker wash. I'd say the difference between Paige and Citizens is that this is, I'd say this guy feels really gummy, stretchy, has a lot of movement in it. I like Paige, especially for a more petite customer. For citizens, I think this is a really great fit for all body types, but Paige in particular for me is always a home run when they're just a tiny bit more petite. Heidi, there's a question. Do the yeah. sachas run true to size? They do, they do. So sometimes in citizens I go up and down. One of the things I think is great that citizens have been doing lately is they you know, they're known for their vintage washes, right? They make everything look like it's been like rummaged through a super cool like flea market. You found that amazing jean, but they're doing all the work for you. They figured out how to take that rigid look and put it into stretch. So lots of movement in all these jeans. And that's also one of the things that I love, love, love about this wider leg is that it is not so slick to your body, much more comfortable around the waist and the hips. So you have a lot of movement. I also like that in a jean like this, you're not gonna get that back gap because it has that stretch in it. That makes a huge difference in fit. So true to size in this one, I did not go up a size. I found that my normal size was super comfortable and I still feel like I have like a good amount of room through my hip, which is usually where I feel like I need it. You know, when you're like, you get to here and then you're trying to get it over your hip and it's not moving. These guys are giving me room. Heidi, your college roommate is on, and she thinks you look fabulous. <laughs> and she also wants to know, um, which you were kind of addressing, but yeah. how a petite girl with hips rocks yeah. the wide leg mm -hmm. pants. Well, now I know what this is. Well, Miss Gelfer, let me tell you. Um, no, but here's the thing: is that I think this can be a trickier trend for those of us that are petite because it can feel like you're getting swallowed up. So I think there's two things to really keep in mind. Number one is proportion on top. So big and big do not match with this when you are more petite. Now that's something you can kind of get away with if you're long and leggy, bless you, amazing. But when you're more petite, if you're going wide on bottom, go slimmer on top. So don't go something super oversized. Even if you're doing a button down, look for one that has just a little bit of a slimmer fit. Like I might gravitate towards something more in like the silhouette from Clap and Stone that just has a little more shape to it so you don't get swallowed up. 
Next is playing with width. Now, for petites, I, I mean, I just go for it because I love this wide leg, but I also think that it's like slightly more narrow flare. Let me see if I can find a good one for you. Like the Anna from Cut would be a good option. Now, here's the difference. This is truly, I'd say, more of like a boot cut or a flare. It's gonna be slimmer through the leg, kick out at the bottom. Now, for us petites, sometimes it's frustrating because we're like, well, I'm cutting off the whole bottom. Like, that's not gonna work. What's great about the, some of the newer flares that are out there is that you're getting a little bit more kick starting at the knees. So you're not gonna cut all that off, even if you are petite. And of course, you can wear a booty or a heel. But I like this, it's not so wide. Again, if I was gonna compare this back to the Citizen's Gaucho that I was wearing earlier, or some of the other more wide legs, what I like about this is that it has a little bit more shape and structure and gives you that waist emphasis. So, you know me, I'm not about rules. I always think that you should just wear what you want to, but there's always like some few like tips and tricks in there to kind of get through it, right? Yeah. Can you remind our viewers how tall you are? Yes, okay, so I am 5'4" but kind of cheater 5'4", because I'm like 5'4", I'm like 5'7", from here up, and I'm like 5'1", from here down. So really short legs, long torso, broader shoulders. So this is my like dressing challenge, is that I'm not really a petite, but my legs 100% are. So when I'm thinking about proportions for me, when I'm looking for bottoms, I almost always have to get things hemmed, I know that my legs are gonna be shorter. Things that say ankle are really gonna be more like full length on me. And so I just have to play with that a little bit. And this is where I think heels come into play, finding a good tailor and giving things a run. So just because it looks perfect on someone else, for those of us that are petite, we have to like kind of try a few more just to make it work. On the opposite side, for those of you that are tall, you have an opposite challenge, right? And I've been hearing from so many of you for the past year and a half or two years even that this crop jean thing is not working for you because when it's cropped on everybody else, it's like shin length on you, which does not work. So guess what? This is your season. Full length denim is absolutely coming back. And when it comes to that 70s inspired flair, meant for you. Couple different styles that I pull thinking about Everybody who has those longer legs, first and foremost is Hudson. Now, I always think Hudson is known for their long legs and their denim. This is the Holly, more of a flare. It does have a raw hem, so this is an easy one to cut off. Little bit of destruction, tons and tons of stretch, and a higher rise. Next jean here, this is from Seven, another super long version. So when we brought that dojo in earlier this year, it sold out, and especially for those of you that are taller because you know how long that length is. This is another great example, the ultra high rise skinny um, boot cut. Look at how long that is <laughs> my legs. I'd be cutting off like a good six inches on this, no problem. But for those of you that are tall, this is going to be your hero. Both of these have tons of stretch, so a great way to embrace that flare. Okay, so I nodded to a trend earlier. I was talking about the button down and maybe you can wear it under a blazer. Well, here we go, that's our next trend, the blazer. Now, we have not really been playing in this for a while and I think there's a good reason. It can feel, before, serious, stuffy, like tight, not comfortable, not fashion. What's so fun about what's happening now with blazers is that they're none of those things. They're great print and pattern, they're designed to fit beautifully, you can wear them casually, you can wear them dressed up, and there's lots and lots of ways to style them. So, I'm gonna start with what I think is the home run. I packed this on a few weeks ago. This, I was just talking about this with the team here. This is my absolute favorite blazer we have in stock right now. This is from OPT, this is your workhorse. This is the one you need. The black blazer that does all the things. Here's how we're going to wear it, gang. We're going to wear it with a button-down and jeans. You're going to look put together. You're going to wear it with a great little cami and a pair of vegan pants. Out. You're going to pop it on over a dress, which is going to look so great just thrown on over your shoulders. And it's an unexpected, really cool layer. So here we go. It's more of a boyfriend cut, so runs true to size. It's meant to be a little bit more relaxed. I absolutely love the length of this guy, too. I think that's so great because it's not short. One button styling, so you can see on this, a little bit of room here, right? So it's not super tailored, which is what makes it so easy. Pop this guy on over a sweatshirt, 
wear it with a little hoodie, a sweater underneath, a button down, or again, just a little cami, and it's a really fun piece to layer for night out. And I do have to say, for those of you who have some special events, weddings coming up this fall, I know there's a ton on the calendars between September and October. Have you ever seen a more chic layer over a dress than just a great little blazer thrown over your shoulders? It's like taking your date's jacket but making it your own. Because when you actually put it on, it doesn't look like you're playing dress up. It's actually something that fits. This looks fabulous over a dress, so really easy one. Great investment piece. You will not regret it. I promise this will be one of the most worn items in your closet. Heidi, one more question back to yes. the flares. Yes. Um, if if you cut off like six inches of the flare, would you lose most of the flare effect? I think on some of them you would. So here's what I look for when you are more petite. I look for a great blue cut. There's a couple styles from Citizens that I actually think are really nice length. So um, the Asola is a really good one. What's the other great, um, the Lila? Yes. Yes, the so the Asola and the Lila are two styles from Citizens that are more of a boot style really great for petites because they're more of an ankle length. So you're not going to lose that. The other thing I look for is more of a true straight. So if you can find a straight full length and you cut it off, it doesn't matter, right? Because that full width going all the way down, even if you cut off six inches, you're still getting that width. So I was wearing that great good American wide leg the other night and I cut off a whole bunch on that puppy and it didn't matter, right? Because that leg flares straight down. Now, where I think it gets tricky for those that are petite are in these more true fitted boot cut or flare styles, and that's when you're gonna start to lose and that kick out looks a little bit funky. So for petites, I look for more of a cropped style because it's gonna hit you perfect, and you can wear with either flats or a heel. Such a good question, because it's hard. This might be one where you just have to try in a couple and then find your hero, and then you're good to go. Okay, so we're talking about that great black blazer, right? So many options and so many ways to do it. What's really cool about what's happening in blazers now, though, is kind of this borrowed from the boys menswear print and pattern. Lots and lots of ways to style this. So we're going to start with this great sanctuary blazer. You can, I'll bring it in so you can see. What's really beautiful about this is you've got the blue, the brown, the gray. So this is a great blazer to wear with black, denim, um, a great brown would be beautiful with this. Lighter weight too, so not heavy lining in this one. So this is an easy one just to pop on, even over a t-shirt with a pair of jeans, and then a little loafer would be such a classic, easy way to style. This is a new, really fun piece from Paige that we just got in. I love the double-breasted style of this. Now, something to note about double-breasted, yes, you can wear it open. I think there was a moment in time when double-breasted always had to be closed. I actually just love it open. It feels more relaxed. Now, if you want to close it up, I think I can look really chic and really put together and kind of nips in that waist. But there's a more casual way to do it too, which is just with a t-shirt paired and jeans. Now, what's great about this guy is that it's brown with black. Yes, you can wear brown and black together, just like you can wear navy and black together. This actually has a matching pant, which is amazing, but also would look great just back to a pair of like black trousers, would feel so chic and put together. And then I have to show this guy because it is flying out the door. This is the Book Cub Blazer from Blank NYC. Here's that double-breasted detail again. But guys, what's so fun about this is this beautiful exploded houndstooth pattern. A little bit thicker fabrication on this one. So I see this as both a blazer and a layer. So this could be something you can wear on a cooler fall day. Pop it on over a sweater. I see football games calling your name in this one, or maybe patio perching on a crisp fall day. Oh, can you just see it now? Your first glass of like red wine since the summer. Oh, that's so beautiful. So really, really fun one. Now ways to style and what we're absolutely loving. I talked about the button down. I think that's a really fun way to style a blazer, but I actually think a more unexpected way to wear the blazer is with a fitted layer underneath. So think tank. Think like easy turtleneck, think more of just like a simple t-shirt. Any of those options, what they really do is help show off your shape underneath that jacket, give you some like really simple detail, and then that blazer helps to define your waist and elongate your body. So that's kind of that magic formula that I'm loving right now that feels really fresh and new. 
Okay, so we talked blazers, we talked button downs, we talked 70s inspired denim. Let's add a little edge, shall we? Let's add a little edge to our wardrobe. I know we lost a light. It's okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna roll with the game. So I'm just gonna like stand over here. <laughs> get my, my most flattering light from this side. <laughs> Everyone always asks like, why? Like, how do you make these videos work? And I, it's all in the lighting. So now you're gonna see the truth. I'm gonna be like Godzilla on this side and like happy day on this side. Okay, so add a little edge. This is where vegan comes into play. A really, really fun trend for fall. Now you know we've been talking about vegan couple of years now and there's lots of emphasis on that vegan bottom be it a great little pull on pant or a tie waist or even a five pocket what I think is so fun about what's happening right now with vegan is that it is covering all silhouettes so tops dresses pants jackets you name it we've got it so I'm gonna start with the home run hero in bottoms you know this pant this is from commando this is that great tie waist paper bag pant what makes this pant so fantastic is it is only a paper bag in the front. So smooth line in the back, tie the waist here. I always tie it in a knot, not in a bow. It is a pull-on pant, runs generous. It will stretch, I promise you, it will stretch. So in this guy, I go down the size because I know it's gonna have a lot of give. Comes in this beautiful Merlot as well as classic black. Now this runs a little bit short, so it's meant to be more cropped. So I love this, show it off with a heel or a mule, something that really helps to elongate the leg. Fun option here. For something a little bit unexpected, woo boy. Okay, so for those of you who are loving that kind of 90s fit, here it is from A. Goldie in two colors. So five pocket styling, okay? Very similar to the 90s fit in denim, but done in vegan. It is in chalky, chalky white, as well as in true black. Full length on this guy, has some stretch to it. Now what's different about this is you have to get your mindset around that like non-fitted silhouette. This is gonna have shape to it, but it's not gonna be tight the way a lot of our vegan bottoms have been. This is meant to be more casual, like I love it back to just a button down, Wear it like a jean, okay? Now it can be more elevated when you wear it back to a more fitted top. So I love that contrast of a more relaxed bottom and a more fitted top. So think bodysuit, think fitted knit, think fitted sweater, something that would just pair underneath this and be really clean. This chalky white almost has a little bit of gray in it or black, you can't go wrong. It's from A. Goldie. So true to size in this one, I did not go down. Heidi, lots of comments that you still look fabulous despite the light mouth. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, well, let's keep, I'll keep going this way. <laughs> I have like, I mean, that Walmart, like, we were, it's so funny last time we were taking a picture and someone said, oh, do you have a good side? And I said, I, I don't, I don't know, I've never thought about that. Maybe you guys should tell me that. We do have one question too. Yes. Um, somebody was just mentioning that they think it'd be tricky to wear some of these things as they need to, they're five feet tall and they need to cover their belly. Do you have any? Oh yeah, that's a great question. I mean, I think this is a big question right now because we're talking a lot about tucking in, right? And here's what I would say, is that I think tucking in can really help to give proportion and shape, but if your belly is your sensitive spot, I hear you, I see you, here's some ways around it. How do we create a waist when you don't want to tuck? A couple things. Number one, a half tuck can be a blessing. Number two, look for tops that have a little bit of more of like a banded bottom so that you're not tucking, but you're still getting that great shape. Number three, a sweater. So there's a lot of sweaters out there that are a little bit shorter, not cropped, but shorter than they were. And so you're not gonna get that super long length. You're gonna get a little bit more of a waist like length, which is going to give you more definition around your waist without again having to tuck in. And when you're petite, five feet tall, you need to both elongate and define, which can be kind of tricky. So here's my tips for you, is that a full length jean with a heel can do wonders. So that great crop, like boot, um, boot cut jean that we were talking about from Citizens and everybody else runs like an ankle on those of us that are petite, it's gonna be a little bit longer, that a booty, 
shirt that is either half tucked or has that great banding, and then a blazer is a home run look. It stretches you out, but also gives you a waist. So, kind of a great example, I think of a sweater that would be really nice for someone who is more petite, sexy, fun, love this. This is from Every. You can see just by looking at the proportions, it's not super long, but it's not cropped. You're going to draw the eye up with this really cool open shoulder. Draw the eye up with a little bit of that mock neck, but it's not going to swallow you up again if you're petite. Do a little bit, other tip for petites, show a little bit of skin. And when I say skin, I don't necessarily mean here, I mean even here. Push up your sleeves a little bit. Show off your forearms. That helps to really give more presence to your body. This is another really fun way to do it. That viewer said they love that sweater. It's an amazing sweater. I love it. Okay, so vegan. A couple other options that I wanted to talk about. Jackets. So when we talk about vegan, we can also mean coated. So two really fun kind of iterations of vegan that are happening right now. Number one, this is a great jacket for petites. This is from Cut. So it's so cool, gang. Check it out. Navy blue coated. So take your denim jacket and like turn it up a thousand degrees amazing amazing style i love that it's got this black matte button so cool and the price on this is amazing 109 this is the Kara. you know the silhouette this has been our best selling silhouette from cut for years a little bit of a raw hem again yes you can mix black and navy you can totally do it but this is one of my favorite ways to do it another and i bought this guy last night because i'm in love with it this is a good American jacket. Now, what makes this fresh for this year versus versions we had in the past, a little bit more tailored. So it's not going to swallow you up. This is another great one if you're looking to create proportions. Leave it all the way open. It snaps. Put on a more fitted layer underneath, like the tank I'm wearing. Your jeans, and now you've got shape at the waist, great jacket, legs, boot, done. I wore this for my headshots and we were taking pictures a couple weeks ago with a pair of trousers. Hands down, one of my favorite pieces, and I know we're going to wear this just a ton of ways. And it just adds a little edge to anything you're really putting together in style. Heidi, lots of questions. Yeah. Um, somebody says, I'm 5'9", size 6 or 8, find so many crops that look silly, even with booties. I have yeah. a pair of higher fitted booties, but any suggestions? For length and for boots. I get it. I hear you. And I think this is where some of this full length denim is really going to be your friend now. We're finally seeing more full length de denim coming around. And you're right. The, the difference between a crop jean looking great and looking a little costumey can literally be a half an inch. And for those of you that have longer legs, when it starts to get really short, it feels really funny. So things that I look for when I'm helping someone who has longer legs, first of all, I try to put aside my jealousy because amazing. <laughs> but then I think about a little bit taller shaft and a boot can be really nice because it helps to kind of fully cover your leg underneath that crop. I also look for a little bit of height because I think that helps just continue to elongate and show off those gans that you were blessed with. Amazing. But now I'm looking for full length denim. So there is a lot more out there than there used to be, especially going into fall season. So look for a great boot cut, a great flare. Even some of our straight lights now are full length. A Goldie, Citizens, and Hudson in particular, I think make really great full length denim. Another that I lean into a lot because I think they give a lot of length is Seven for All Mankind. So all of those have some nice stretch too, which I think can be really fabulous when you have longer legs because you're just, you got more legs to move, right? So comfortable but still have more length the other thing i would say this might be controversial but show off your ankles i kind of love a crop on a longer leg with a flat and i think sometimes again it's about that proportion play so if you've got longer legs or even if you're petite and you've got a crop jean on that's hitting you above your ankle don't fight it by trying to cover it up with a booty instead embrace it show off that ankle with a low rise sneaker or a great little slide or even a loafer, which there's so many fun options this fall season, which I think like the flatter the shoe, the more ankle can be a really fun proportion play too. And that's where you can embrace a little bit more of a relaxed top because you're getting that shape, ankle, flat, and then a little bit more of a generous top. Easy way to pair it. Helpful? 
hope that's helpful. Okay. All right. So thinking of kind of fun ways then to style that. We were just like thinking about proportion, right? A statement sweater is such a great way to play with some of these really great bottoms. We talked about vegan bottoms. We talked about that 70s inspired. Lots of ways to do a statement sweater. And here's the thing. Statement can mean a lot of things. It can mean a silhouette. It can mean a color. It can mean print and pattern. So you get to make the rules around this and what statement means to you. So we're going to start with some of the like wow pieces first that really knock you over the head. Starting with this amazing chevron sweater from Every. Why we love this? Well, number one, all the fall colors of the season. So, so, so yummy, warm. The chevron pattern, a little bit of a feminine detail in the sleeve. And this is another one that it's not so long. So if you're looking to really play up your waist, this has got a great length. It's going to hit you below your waistline, so kind of high hip. If you want to create even more waist, this is where I do a little half tuck just to draw some definition to my waist. Really pretty, true to size. Similar spirit, and I absolutely love that. This to me is a statement because of the print, but also the knit. So look at that cool, almost kind of hand knit crochet feeling that this sweater has. Of course, in black and white, you can never go wrong. Such a classic color combination. So chic, back to a vegan bottom. I absolutely love that, adds a little bit of edge. You could also do this with a coated bottom, it would be so cool. Or, of course, just back to your denim. A little bit more relaxed silhouette than the last sweater that I showed you, but you can see that detail in the sleeve. And this guy also a little bit more relaxed body. So for those of you that we were just talking about, who are embracing that crop jean trend and maybe showing off a little bit more ankle with a flat. This would be a great sweater to pop on top because it is a little bit more relaxed. Now, a cardigan. This may be unexpected for a statement sweater. Aren't cardigans serious? Or aren't they just there to layer when you're cold? Well, they can be the piece too. And so a couple really fun options. Number one, Pistola. I absolutely love this guy. It's a really cool play on an argyle. So cotton knit, so really nice for those of you that live in a little bit warmer temperatures. I love this guy, just with a little black cami underneath, pop it on, a little bit longer too. So this is a really nice one to wear with like a kick flare, commando vegan bottom, or a sh like a little bit shorter, um, more fitted jean would be really nice here. Or you can go this way with this RD style. Now what's fun about this one is that it's, a cardigan, but it's not so low in the front that you can't just wear it alone. So yes, a cardigan, even an argyle, can be totally sexy. This is where your gold layer necklaces come in. This is where you pair it back to this jean. So cute, so fun. I absolutely love the navy and the brown in this. Back to the cream, so, so pretty. And then stitch interest. So I know it's still warm where a lot of us are but someday we're gonna be ready to wear a turtleneck. And when we are, we're gonna want this one. So here's another great way to make a statement. Really yummy rust color. I love this braided detail, rib silhouette here. What's nice about that is the way that it skims the body. So ribbing in general, so flattering, whether it be in a tank like I'm wearing here or in a sweater like I'm showing here, it just kind of brushes by the body instead of sucking in smooths over the lumps and bumps we all love that really really fun so this guy is from design history more of a relaxed silhouette i love a good turtleneck when it's not folded over i just like it up and pulled down in front so it really frames your face this color is absolutely stunning for fall season and this would be another great one because it's not so thick to just do a little half tuck to show off your waist and then what might possibly be our most popular sweater this fall season has been this guy. Now, why do we love it? Well, number one, I think this stitch is so beautiful. Kind of open, feminine, not so open that you have to wear something underneath it, but absolutely stunning. It looks so rich. Number two, the yarn is so soft, so cozy, yummy to wear. Number three, the color. It's this beautiful balance of kind of a taupe and a blush, so it doesn't get too pink, it doesn't get too brown, so flattering on a ton of skin types. The length is spot on with a little bit of feminine detail in the sleeve, 
a really striking sweater to wear and easy again to layer. So if you wanted to wear this guy back to say, your cool vegan, how fun would that be? Or pair it back to denim like I'm wearing now and then throw on a little blazer, be an easy one to layer. And because it really picks up all these rich tones, it'd be so easy to wear back to any of these like menswear print and pattern that we have in the blazers. And Heidi, how do you recommend putting sweaters away when you're done wearing them? Do you put them on a hanger or fold them? What's the best way to main shape, maintain shape and quality? Well, I am a total sweater lover, I gotta be honest. I mean, it is a borderline obsession, I'm gonna be honest. I love sweaters as much as I love shoes. So, I don't know, it's a Minnesota girl in me. I, I can't help myself. So, there are two ways that I fold my sweaters. The, one of the ways, if I have room in my closet, is I fold them half over a hanger. I never, ever, ever hang a sweater on a shirt hanger because it's going to stretch. I don't care what the yarn is. It's too hard on the shoulders. The weight of a sweater is gonna pull it down and it's gonna stretch. So, cardigans, it's a really easy way to do it. I just fold it long and then fold it half over like a pant hanger. If I have the room on shelving, I fold my sweaters long and flat. So I just fold them in half and fold the arms over this way and this way. The reason I love it folded that way is because it creates the least amount of creases. I can really stack them high and see exactly what I have. It doesn't take up a ton of room that way and I find it really helps them to hold their shape. Now in my like earlier years, pre-kids, when I was real particular, I used to put tissue in my sweaters. I mean, those days are so over. I mean, so over. We are lucky if I'm getting it folded. But I haven't given up that long fold, and I think the reason is is because I can keep that sweater stacked six months out of the year when we're not wearing sweaters in the summer and in the spring, and I can pull it out in fall, and there's no creases in it. There's nothing worse than pulling out a sweater and seeing all the lumps and bumps, right? Oh, no good. So over that hand hanger or um, folded long are the ways that I store my sweaters. It's such a good question. I mean, it's a trial and error a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. And sometimes those finer knits can be a little bit tricky too, but those I, I treat the same way. If I can hang them, that's like, I think the best way to do it. And we have another question yeah. about uh, from another Minnesota girl. Yes. Um, they don't love being hot. And any suggestions on which sweater would be your pick? Yes, well, that's when I look for something that's cotton-based. So I think this is where this guy comes into play, right? Cotton-based card cardigan. So it's more about the layer. You can layer a tank under this. So you don't have to feel heavy. This would be a great one. I also think that sweater that I flashed earlier with that open shoulder, this is another lighter weight knit. This is a great one to wear too and a little bit of breathability and not so long. Those I think of this group are probably my favorite. This guy's actually kind of a chameleon. It looks like it should be heavy and chunky, but it's not. So this is a really nice option as well. It's true, I mean, we get hot, right? So I'm always looking for easy pieces to layer. And as much as sometimes I love that look of like a great hat and a sweater and a blazer and jeans and boots. I mean, you put that puppy on and you are cooking like an oven in five minutes flat. So looking for an easy cardigan that can be layered over a lightweight tank can be one of the best ways to embrace the sweater trend without having to feel like you're all layered up. There's also a really fun sweater. It's one of my favorites from Ever Eve. I wore it a couple weeks ago. It's more of a cotton-based fisherman knit, so just that great rib knit, comes in a couple of colors. I love that sweater because it's so versatile. It looks great with a bunch of different bottoms. It's really lightweight knit, so it's a perfect sweater for right now. You can even wear it with cutoffs. Looks kind of coastal grandmothery. Um, that's another one of my favorites that I look for when I'm wanting to wear that sweater trim, but it's feeling a little warm or the weather's not predictable. You know, it's like 50 in the morning and 70 in the afternoon. That can be a great one to just like throw in your bag and pop on over a t-shirt when you need it. It's such a good question. Okay, King, here we go. Fall, everything you need, a button down. 70s inspired denim, something vegan, statement sweater, a blazer. We didn't even talk about accessories, but I mean, can we just talk for a hot second about like how darn cute this hat is? I mean, 
right? Isn't that fun? So a hat would be a fun little accessory. I'm loving all the belts, and if you need a shoe, I'm all about the Western booty or a clog. A clog is a great transition shoe for right now, the Western booty or just a booty in general as we go into deeper fall season. Also looks great with a little sundress, and yeah, that blazer over your shoulders. Hope this gave you some great ideas. So, so fun to be with you today. Hope everyone has a stunning pre-fall weekend here and you get your list checked off. Thanks so much and we will see you soon. Take care everybody.